My name is Joe Wiktorowicz and welcome to Allied TV. There's a lot that goes into moving, from packing each item, labeling boxes, taping boxes, and then unpacking each item at your new location. Moving is a loaded project for anyone. Having the right materials to help you pack your items safely and securely, however, can make this project much easier. But with all the supplies out there, which ones are right for your move and worth the time? Well, in this video, we answer these questions and help you compile a list of necessary materials you'll need before preparing for your move to your new home. Before we outline the different moving supplies you will need, let's go over a few important details that are often overlooked and necessary to address before your move. Since your address will be changing, it's crucial to notify your credit card company, insurance company, bank, and U.S. Postal Service. By taking these steps, you will ensure your mail is forwarded to your new, correct address and that you receive all important documents in the mail. So now that we've gone over those details, let's talk about packing. Although you may want to jump right in and start putting items into boxes, it's important to remember a crucial step before you can do this. After deciding which household items to move, make sure you identify which of these items are large, awkwardly shaped, or fragile and may require different sized boxes. Approach your packing on a room-by-room -room basis. This will keep you from being overwhelmed by the whole house. Start early and try to pack a room a day. This will help you alleviate the stress as move day approaches. So what supplies should you have? Let's talk about boxes first. Since you most likely will have a variety of different sized items to pack, it's important to have several sized boxes. It's best to use small boxes for heavier items, larger boxes for a lot of lightweight items such as blankets, pillows, and towels, and specialty boxes with bars inserted in the top for packing hanging clothes. You should also get some kitchen boxes specific for packing dishes, glasses, and other kitchen items. These boxes are usually referred to as dish packs and provide a double lining of cardboard to protect these fragile items. There are also cartons specific for mattresses and frame boxes for mirrors and pictures. Now that you've taken care of your large and heavy and lightweight items, let's dig a little deeper into fragile items. Fragile items require padding. When it comes to padding, you have three options. Newspaper, packing peanuts, or bubble wrap. It's up to you to decide which padding will work best for your items and safely secure them during the move. Along with boxes and padding, there are several other moving materials you'll need to purchase to ensure your move runs smoothly and your items remain safe. Let's talk about what those are right now. In order to securely seal both top and bottom of each box, you'll need to purchase packing tape. This will ensure your items stay in their boxes when moved from your old home into the moving truck and to your new home. In addition to packing tape, you'll also need to purchase a couple of markers to use when labeling each of the boxes. Be sure to label what each box contains as well as the room you want each box placed in when moved into your new home. This will not only make things easier for you, but it will also make it easier for the movers who will be delivering each of the boxes to their assigned place. Another set of supplies to keep in mind are box cutters, mattress covers, and stretch wrap. Box cutters will save you much frustration. Mattress covers and stretch wrap will ensure your items are kept clean and scratch free. Another item you may want to consider purchasing are Ziploc bags. These are great for packing small items that may get lost if placed into bigger boxes. Now that you know what materials to purchase to keep your items organized and safe, it's time to talk about what to do with all those materials once you've unpacked and moved everything into your new home. Instead of simply tossing empty boxes, padding, and newspapers into the trash, find a nearby recycling center that will accept newspapers and cardboard. Markers, box cutters, and covers can all be saved for later use. So there you have it. A quick list of packing supplies to purchase before your big day and what to do with all of it after moving into your new home. Thanks for watching. With LITV, I'm Joe Wiktorowicz, wishing you a safe and easy move.